We bring you the latest updates from the PNA Newsroom. The House Committee on Suffrage and Electoral Reforms has approved the postponement of the Barangay and Sangguniang Kabataan elections or BSKE to December 4 next year. The postponement is being seen as one way of helping the government save funds and divert it to financial aid for the poor and other urgent government programs. Twelve members of the House panel voted in favor of the measure, while only two lawmakers voted against it. The committee also approved the motion to set the tenure of those elected for the December 2023 polls and other elections thereafter for three years. During the hearing, Comelec Chief George Irwin Garcia said the postponement mandates the poll body to continue the registration of new voters. He also said it would entail an additional 5 billion pesos for the hiring of additional poll workers, more precincts, and procurement of additional election paraphernalia. The wave is not yet over. This is the reminder of the Okta Research Group. Despite the decline in Metro Manila's COVID-19 positivity rate to 16.1% as of August 14, Okta fellow Guido David said, the positivity rate is at a downtrend as the rate was 17.3% last August 7. Despite the decrease, David said the risk level in Metro Manila remains moderate. David also reported that the one-week growth rate of cases in NCR decreased to negative 7%. The production rate decreased to 1.13 as of August 12 from 1.19 on August 5. Meanwhile, healthcare utilization is at 37% with occupancy of ICU beds for COVID-19 has hit 32% as of August 14. This came as cases caused by more infectious subvariants of the Omicron COVID-19 variant increased. The Philippine National Police has activated its security plan to ensure the safe reopening of classes next week. Under the Ligtas Balik Escuela School Year 2022-2023, law enforcement activities will be intensified at learning institutions, transportation hubs and places of convergence to protect students, guardians and teachers from crime incidents. PNP COVID-19 patrollers will also be deployed to ensure that the minimum public health standards shall remain implemented, especially in places or regions with high-risk classifications. There will also be police assistance desks near the entrances of school campuses nationwide. PNP Chief General Rodolfo Azurin Jr. said, All unit commanders are directed to coordinate with school authorities, parents and the local government units for the implementation of safety measures in their respective localities. In other news, the Indian Embassy announced that the initial delivery of the BrahMos missile system to Manila is coming around 2023. On the sidelines of India's 75th Independence Day celebration in Taguig City on Monday, Indian Ambassador to the Philippines Shambhu Kumaran said they are expecting the deliveries to happen sometime next year. The Department of National Defense signed the contract for the acquisition of the Indian-made cruise missiles worth 18.9 billion pesos last January 28. Under the contract, Manila will get three missile batteries, each of which consists of mobile autonomous launchers and tracking systems. The Philippine Marine Corps shore-based anti-ship missile battalion would be operating the anti-ship missile systems. The House leadership is confident that lawmakers can meet the September 30 deadline in approving the proposed national budget for 2023. House Majority Leader Manuel José de Lipe said the general appropriations bill or GAB for next year would face smooth sailing in the lower chamber. De Lipe said they want to give all House members time to scrutinize the proposed budget before Congress holds its recess on September 30. Marikina Representative Stella Luz Kimbo said the House plenary will have around two weeks to deliberate and approve the gap on third and final reading. For his part, House Appropriations Committee Chair Zaldi Co committed to the swift approval of an economic recovery budget aligned with the executive branch's economic agenda. The National Expenditure Program, the precursor of the gap, will be submitted to the House of Representatives on August 22nd. 
And that is the latest news and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. I am William Theo. Good evening, everyone.